is a common problem in Blender. Let's say you have many objects selected and you want to change a property. In the case of this text, you can see the first rib is properly centered inside the black bar, but the others are not. So I want to center them all. I've selected them all. And if I change the height property here, and set it to 0.05, for example, well, it's not changing anywhere but on the active selected strip, which is not what I want. So to change parameters in batch like this, uh, if you don't have an add-on that does it for you, you can use Python. It works with anything inside of Blender. It's not the easiest to do if you've never done any programming, but it's fairly efficient. So let's take all the strips first. We have to select them all for the trick to work, ideally. And you want to open a Python console in one of the window. It's the first option at the very top of the window type selector. Click inside the uh, little bars. You know, you need your cursor to be over an area for it to work. And we'll start by importing the Blender Python library. So in Python, you must import certain features before you can use them. For Blender, it's import BPY. Um, then we want to loop over all our selected sequences and change one property on them. So for that, we're going to use the for keyword. It starts a loop and it's going to target every element inside our list of elements. In this case, the selected sequences in the sequencer. So we start with the for keyword to start the loop, and then we give a name, an identifier, to the element of the list that we are going to target on each step. I tend to use S for strip or sequence. It's short to type. And then we use the in keyword to say this is each sequence for each sequence in a list of sequence. So this list it's Blender, the BPY library that's going to provide it for us. By BPY dot, we go down a level and we're going to call the context. Um, Blender works this way where it stores a lot of data about the current context. So currently we have things that are selected. All the things that you select are stored inside the context can add another dot to go down one level and start to type selected sequences. Uh, that's what we are looking for, selected underscore sequences. And we can autocomplete what we are typing by pressing control and the space key at the same time. Blender um, will complete up to as much as it can. And then you have a list of things you can add to complete the sequence. So you want to finish typing selected underscore type the first S and press control space again to complete it. Okay. So for each sequence in the list of selected sequences, which we access with bpy.context.selectedSequences, add a colon, press enter. That's the first line. And now we are inside this block. So inside the loop, the S will be each of the sequence. It's going to be the first one, the second one, the third one, and we're going to work on each of them one after the other. Let's place our cursor back on the Python console, and we want to modify the um, location. It's called the location of the text strip. Let me go back to the properties panel, and to know what a um, property is, what its name is in Python. You want to hover the property, you want to edit and look at the little text. In that case, it's written as bpy.data.scene. So basically it's saying uh, this strip is inside the scene name scene and um, it's stored inside the sequence editor, etc. Uh, but the interesting part is the last identifier location with a one inside bracket. Um, X, the X location is going to be location with zero inside brackets. So we are looking to modify the location property. 
and to modify the index one, which is the Y value. So to do this, we're going to target the sequence S dot, we're going to use its location property and then open bracket one to target the Y value, set it equal to 0 0.03. This is the value that works in my case. So you press enter once and a second time to confirm that's what you want to do as part of this loop. And then you can see on the right side the value updated and if we go over all the sequences they all updated. 